So she's had a mild cough, a runny nose for the past two days, no fever. She's been eating and drinking well and otherwise acting like herself, right? Yeah. And she looks great on exam. Her lungs sound nice and clear. So this is a viral infection and it's gonna get better in probably a couple of days. Okay, great. So you can prescribe her some antibiotics? Well, unfortunately, antibiotics are not going to be helpful in this situation because this is a viral infection and antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infection. Yeah, well, I just want to get ahead of this thing and make sure that it goes away as quickly as possible. No, I completely understand. But unfortunately, in this case, the antibiotics aren't going to do anything. And antibiotics do have a lot of side effects. And so we don't just prescribe them in situations that we know that they're not going to be helpful in. Yeah, well, last time this happened, we went to an urgent care and they prescribed the antibiotics and she got better in two days. Watch this. Actually, what happened was we started the antibiotic and then she started to get better two to three days later because it was a viral infection and she would have gotten better two to three days later anyway, but then you associated her getting better because she started the antibiotic. So then you'll think that your child needs an antibiotic for every viral infection and you'll probably convince some doctor to prescribe it to you so then your child will get one for every single viral infection, therefore contributing to the growing resistance to antibiotics. And in the event that she may actually need an antibiotic for a true bacterial infection, it may be hard to find one that she responds well to. Okay, well, we're going to be going for a second opinion. We're going to head over to the urgent care. No problem. Call us if you change your mind. If you just have more questions, we're happy to talk about it.